What's up YouTube? I'm here to show you a comparison between two different audio interfaces. Now, the story behind this is that I have recently partnered up with the wonderful people at Antelope Audio. They've sent me this incredible Orion Studio Synergy Core. Now, this thing is just absolutely amazing. I've wanted one of these for forever. Um, honestly, it's like my dream interface. For those of you who don't know, I've been using a Behringer XR18 from the Behringer X Air range of mixes. This whole time I've been doing all of my recording with one of those. Everyone I've been sending my session recordings to and everything, they've all said, yeah, it's good enough. But you know, I kind of knew they were just being nice to a degree and that like it worked, but I knew how much better it could be. So, what I've gone ahead and done is I've done a comparison video. I've recorded the same hits and the same loops on both the Behringer and the Antelope. And now you're going to get a chance to hear and you can really compare what all the mics kind of sound like and, um, and get a vibe for what that all feels like. So I've got my whole kit mic'd up here. As you can see, everything here is pretty much exactly the same as it was in my studio tour video. So if you wanna have a look and see what mics are being used and where everything is, then go check that out. That link's popping up in the corner somewhere for you right now. So definitely check that out. You can come back to this and you can know exactly what microphones, etc., are all being used and the story behind the kits and all of that stuff. It's a fun video, so go check that out. But of course, the thing, the big difference is that I no longer use this Behringer interface after this video. Filming this was really cool because like, this is me leaving the world of Behringer and coming up into the real pro audio world of having some real preamps. Let me tell you a little bit about that interface. So the Orion has 12 microphone preamps on it, but over USB, which is how I'm using it right now, it's got a max of 24 channels in and out. And it's really easy to expand it with ADAT. I've never used ADAT before. It couldn't have been easier. I bought a secondhand Focusrite Octo Pre and I think it sounds great, honestly. I think I've put the channels that I feel like were most important, the tones of them, are going through the Antelope's preamps. And then, so we've got 12 mics going through all of the Antelope's channels. And then we've got four mics going through the Octopree's channels. They still sound great, honestly. I'm pretty sure that Octopree chained with a unit with a worse word clock would sound a lot worse. Like I'm pretty sure that the Orion's amazing clocking is making the Octopree sound like astounding because I'm not really hearing a, a quality drop. I did notice when I was gaining up that there was a lot more headroom in the Antelope than there was in the Focusrite, but that's you know what you get for the money pretty much. So enough talking. Here it is, let's have a listen. Starting off, this is the kick drum, and what you're gonna hear is the Behringer first, and then the antelope, and then whatever's on screen, it's gonna tell you what's happening. So, here you go.
So I think what I'm really picking up from this is how much more body and life there is to the antelope's tones. Um, it's one thing that I had a feeling that was going to happen, and I'm really glad that I was right about this, is that the, um, the Behringer's tones, they don't have anywhere near the same clarity inside the transients. They kind of compress within themselves. I'm noticing on the antelope a ton more low end, a ton more definition. Um, I know that I'm definitely hearing a lot more as well, just listening through the antelope. Monitoring through it is like a humongous difference. I remember I was listening through music um, from the Antelope, the first song I put on was New Day by Carnival. And it was like goosebumps, man. Like the music was just so much more 3D than I'd ever realized it could be. Through the Antelope monitoring, listening to recordings of the Behringer versus the Antelope, I'm definitely hearing these more defined transients. I'm definitely hearing less mid-range congestion within the drums. Um, a lot more low end, a lot more definition in the low end. I'm definitely like pinpointing the sound of everything a little bit more. Also just more clarity in the top end, I'm definitely hearing. And just a, almost just like a better starting point. I can hear in all of these source tones, I can hear like, yes, if I were to throw a compressor on that, that's going to do what I was hoping it would do. That's what I expect would happen when I do the stuff on other people's recordings, you know, or my own recordings in different studios, you know, when I've uh, gone to Babylon or somewhere else and I've come home and I've comped it and I've gone, these tones are mad. I can definitely hear that going on here. So I've got a few more videos planned for this to release over time. I'm going to be doing a video which shows off um, the antelope built-in effects and some of my favorite ones as I've spent more time with it because one of the things about the Orion is that it has a ton of DSP and its own plugins that all run within the box. So I'm planning to actually build a streaming mix using AFX only, like no DAW mix whatsoever. All the gating if I use it, all the compression, um, I'm going to mess around with, you know, preamp emulation within it. I'm going to mess around with, you know, there's a nice reel to reel tape sound going on. It's so sick. Um, so yeah, comparing those, building a full streaming mix with that is definitely happening. I'm planning to use these wonderful sounding effects as outboard, essentially. I'm going to be using them as inserts inside my Cubase, as sending audio out of one channel into the antelope back into Cubase. So I can treat it like outboard and make use of these wonderful plugins. There are some things that I just don't have that this thing's emulating, and I just really want to hear what it sounds like. Also, I've got a few plugins from guys like Brainworks and whatever, and I'm and some anything that I have a duplicate of within the AFX world, I'm definitely going to do like probably like a Brainworks plugin alliance world plugin versus the antelope one we'll do a bit of a shoot out and see what happens you know and totally unbiased you know i just want to share what i genuinely think about it but i am so happy with this piece of kit this orion i am so grateful to have it and to finally have like an, an interface that i can use properly with full rooting capability the control panel's mad the things i can do with it are just insane it was so easy to just put this into there or put that into there. Now that I've kind of mastered the rooting of it, um, the rooting matrix makes a ton of difference. So yeah, but I'll maybe do some more tutorials on that. Let me know what else kind of stuff you want to see from me in the comments. Do check out my Twitch and my Discord and all the rest of it that's all down here. And if you like the look of any of this equipment that I'm using, there is a link to Toman, which has a wish list, which has all the equipment that I'm using. So if you want to just be able to pick up something that you like the sound of or the look of that I'm using, then you can just click on whatever it is that's in there. Pretty much everything's in there. Obviously drum kits and snares, they're all a bit bespoke you can't get these kits and snares easily so that's a bit of a different world but in terms of microphones sticks skins etc my tom and link is in the description until next time anyway i'll see you guys later all the best